Hey everyone, my name is Thaddeus Johnson, and today I wanted to do a quick video showing how to run MIDI changes and CC messages from Ableton into the quad core. Now, I know what you're thinking. First thought, why is this guy wearing a leather jacket inside? It's winter, it's December, I'm in Kansas, get off my back. The first thing that you wanna do is buy a quad cortex. These things are amazing. I can't vouch for them enough. I used to run a full pedal board with dozens of pedals, and I will say individual pedals still sound much better than what a multi-effects processor can try to do. For instance, like the Julia by Walrus, I think they make it. Uh, I, that chorus is amazing and it can only do what that pedal can do. So I can't say that this outright beats analog if you're that person, but for the convenience of what it is, I love it. Next thing you wanna do is open up Ableton, create a MIDI track. Then on that MIDI track, you're gonna set the output. I already have it labeled to Quad Cortex. To configure that, you go to Configure. And then here, you have your different inputs and outputs. Don't even worry about this. Here, in, it should say Quad Cortex, and out, it should say Quad Cortex. A quick interruption, something I didn't mention, is that I'm connected to my Quad Cortex through a USB cable. Whatever device you're using to send MIDI out of is what you'll want to select here. That could be an interface, USB to MIDI adapter. For me, it says Quad Cortex. For you, it could be something different. I just wanted to clarify. Now back to the video. You just need track on both of them. Now, I'm not running anything um, out of the quad cortex itself. What this means is it's sending data from Ableton out into the quad cortex. So as long as track is on there, uh, that's all you'll need to know. Once you have that, you set quad cortex as the MIDI out. The channel will depend on what channel you have the quad set to. I think I have mine set to all channels. If you're running multiple pedal boards or if you're running uh, multiple things that are receiving MIDI changes, set that to a specific channel. Say, set the quad cortex to channel one, set your keyboard to channel two so that there's no crossover when sending changes and it just doesn't, uh, it separates the things, isolates them. Once you do that, I can't tell you how simple it is to get these MIDI changes working. You'll create a MIDI clip. I just do that by hitting Shift Command M and now I have a MIDI clip here. What you can do is bring up this drop down menu where it says clip and you can open that up. Bank, this doesn't do anything. You can run that up and down as much as you want. What you'll need to know is your sub and this program. And these are selecting your presets and your scenes on the quad cortex itself. Sub program, this is the folder of what you have on the quad cortex. If you go over to it, I have this nice plexiglass cover. Couldn't tell you who makes it, but I got it online so you can get one yourself. What you'll do is you'll go to where you have your folders. I have all the uh, different artists I play for. These are my folders. Factory presets is zero. My presets is one. Cloverton Christmas is two. Within those folders, I have all the songs that I'm playing. What's a little bit confusing is that the folders are numbered, but then the presets themselves use letters. In bank one, you have 1A, 1B, 1C. So 1A is the equivalent to one on the program side of Ableton. B is two, C is three. Just put a numeric value to those letters and then that will make sense on which presets you're gonna select through Ableton. If I go back here, doesn't feel like Christmas, program one, that's 1A. If I go up one, program two, now that's Little Drummer Boy, which is 1B. These two numbers determine which song you're gonna play and then which preset you wanna be for that song. I set a different preset for each song, so then in those scenes I can get really specific. With the tones, I can change the amps that I'm using, the pedals, all the above. For example, I have this set to sub program three, program number two. That means in my Cloverton Christmas set list, I'm gonna go to song number two, which is Little Drummer Boy. The next clip I make, I'm gonna put sub program three, program four, and go to the fourth song. So that means when I play this clip, it's gonna play Little Drummer Boy. Say that song ends, and then I go to the next song. Here we go. We're on a manual, just like that. That is what the quad reads, those two numbers for which preset you wanna be on.
If I lose you at any point during this video, feel free to rewind, rewatch it again, because it's really simple, but sometimes there's little details that you miss. Next thing we'll look at is how to change the individual scenes during the song itself. What I'm gonna do is I'll pull up our Christmas set and you'll see the things that I already have programmed and then we're gonna set up a new song so you can see it built from scratch. If I pull up our Christmas tour 2023, you can see these nice Christmas colors, but you can see in here, I have a separate channel set to quad cortex changes. When I click on Little Drummer Boy, this is set to sub program three. The cool thing about this is that you can play it in any order. You don't have to reorder it on the quad cortex itself. Ableton will cue it. I'll drop down to this section, which you can see where the automation is happening. And if I zoom in, you see these little nodes. Here in a second, it's gonna change right there. So the quad is reading that as change it to the next scene that I have programmed on that. This right here is the entire song of it. So I can jump to this part of the song and you can see how those changes are happening on it. Another change happens here. And that is as simply as you can see it, those are the changes that are happening. So let's build this from scratch and I'll show you exactly how to get it to a place of going from nothing into a full song and a full set of MIDI changes. To start, you have your MIDI channel, set that output to quad cortex, whatever channel it needs to read. From there, make a new MIDI clip, set to the sub program you want it. What's, what's the fifth song in the set? What child is this? That's the fifth song. So in there, I can come to these MIDI automation settings in this MIDI clip. The first one is how you select notes. The second one is the automation, which you want for the CC changes. First thing I'll say is they have a whole list on the manual of what changes you can do and how to program. It gets way more in depth than I'm getting in this video. So if you have any specific questions, you should look up in the manual what to do and then experiment. One of the songs, I have a volume swell that automatically goes at the beginning of a song and it makes it really easy because I don't use a volume pedal. Stuff like that you can get really specific with. Today, I'm just gonna go through the CC messages and changing the scenes during a song. Go to the automation tab here, select MIDI control, and then here is the different channels. So one to 119 it shows. And these all do different things for different pedals. Specifically with the quad cortex, channel 43 is how you select which button I'm gonna hit for this song. For example, on What Child Is This, how I have it set up is a clean, medium channel, big channel, and huge channel. So if I go back here, my clean means I don't have any overdrives on. My medium channel, I put one overdrive on. Big channel is a beefier overdrive, a heavier overdrive, and then huge is both of them stacked together. That's all that's happening when I hit these buttons. You can see it changing right there. The other things, I have a clean ambient, medium ambient, big ambient. What that's doing is it's turning on another reverb so that I have a bigger sound and it's a little more washy. So if I'm on the midi medium channel, it doesn't have that reverb. Medium ambient is turning on that reverb, okay? If I go back here, you can see those channels changing real time while I'm programming this. It's really simple. If I wanna start on a clean ambient sound, I take the scene, which happens to be foot switch A, and I assign a numerical value to it. For this, it's zero through seven. So A equals zero, B is one, C is two, and then you go up from there. It's a little confusing because you have eight foot switches. So you would think one through eight is what you want, but the CC messages start at zero. So you have to have zero, one, two, through seven. So let's say I want it to start on the clean ambient sound, which is foot switch A. I'll start on zero and put a little node at the first, first beat. And then say two measures in, I wanna go to a medium sound. So I'll put another node there. And then easiest way is just to go up here. Medium on this is gonna be foot switch five because A is zero, B one, C two, F is five. I'll start from the top jump from the clean right there, clean ambient, and it's gonna jump to medium. 
Just like that, it's as easy as that. So you just go through the entire song, set up how you want this, the changes to happen, when you want them to happen, and it'll go like that. Super simple, hopefully this inspires you to start doing changes like this. Thanks for watching this, y'all. I'll see you in the next video.